Hey guys, and welcome back. Uh, this is day 11, and we are at 1 o'clock. Oh, let's bump this up. We're at 1 o'clock on day 11. Uh, we just now finished uh, planting barley in our field over here. Uh, we've been working to cultivate uh, field 14, and uh, I was just checking out the handiwork. Uh, also, we're checking out our potato field here, and uh, we really need to get uh, some fertilizer on both of these fields to get them up to... Uh, to full production. Let's take a look. Uh, we've got uh, barley growing at the first stage and then we got our potatoes already at our second stage already and uh, they are both at two stages of fertilizer so we need to bump them up to three and uh, we need to get the uh, fertilizer spreader is what we need to do. So I've uh, been talking with the guys down at the shop and uh, they've got a uh, coon uh, fertilized spreader uh, that we're going to be interested in picking up. It's a pretty big size uh, so we're going to need to get a pretty nice tractor to uh, to fit nicely with that. Uh, we also need to get one with uh, narrow wheels so we don't damage our crops. Uh, so they were telling me that there's a uh, Massey Ferguson 7700 over there uh, that would be perfect uh, for our uh, for the coon uh, spreader and also it would be a perfect add to our fleet uh, right now we've got the 6R which is uh, just parked right there waiting on our uh, 8530 to finish cultivating uh, the 6R is about 220 horsepower uh, the 8530 is sitting at 350 horsepower and they told me they got a, uh, a 7700 uh, I don't remember the middle number uh, the exact number uh, model number but uh, they said they've got one that will fit right in between uh, those two horsepower ratings uh, to get me a nice sized tractor uh, that is capable of uh, some various wheel options also has front hookups and everything and uh, will be more than enough as far as weight goes uh, for the uh, uh, Coon spreader so we're gonna go down here and uh, go on in the shop and uh, see about making those purchases so uh, I'll be right back with you. We'll take a look at them. All right, so we've got our, uh, they went ahead and brought the uh, spreader out. And uh, our Massey Ferguson is out here. It's a 7726, apparently. Let's take a look at this thing. That is one big uh, fertilized spreader that's for sure and uh, it's one nice size tractor also to go with it now I always thought these little narrow wheels looked awful funny um, but what we're going to be able to do is uh, we've went ahead and ordered ourselves a couple extra sets of uh, tires and we're going to have them delivered to the farm here in the next couple days and uh, we'll be able to uh, swap out because we've got all the equipment we need to swap out these tires uh, should we need to uh, switch out to something else? Let's go ahead and uh, take a look in here. Look pretty good. We got uh, oh wow, we got lots of nice lights going on. So it'll be fun to uh, to work with. Let's go ahead and uh, hook up to our uh, spreader here. And uh, we'll have to have one of our uh, helpers. We'll have to have one of our helpers, and that looks nice. Doesn't look too terrible bad on the back of that tractor. Uh, so I was saying we're going to have to have one of our helpers come and uh, help us bring our pickup truck back home. So we're going to go ahead and uh, mosey on back to the farm here pick up some, uh, fill up some fertilizer, and like I said, we're going to fertilize our uh, our new uh, barley field and our potato field. 
And uh, this particular tractor, I think, has 280 horsepower in it. So it will be a very nice addition to our uh, fleet. And uh, we'll be able to use it for lots of things uh, coming up in the future. Let's just uh, check in here on our uh, cultivator and see how he's doing. Oh, there he goes. Looks like he's doing a pretty good job. Let's go ahead and uh, step on out. All right, let's go ahead and get on back in here. And like I said, let's go ahead and let's get to fertilizing. This thing's got some gumption to it, that's for sure. It seems to just get up and go. This might be our new uh, tractor we used to get around, uh, get around the map with. This should take uh, a little over three bags of uh, fertilizer to uh, fill up. Let's do our potatoes first. This thing has a pretty good spread on it. So we're just going to uh, fertilize these two fields and uh, let our uh, cultivator finish working over on field 14 and that will pretty much be uh, day 11. And uh, when we come back we will uh, we'll be working on uh, field day 12 and uh, we'll go ahead and probably send our cultivator over to uh, field 31 which is going to be our canola field. As you can see, our ground temp has moved up a little bit. It's at 43. Still a little too cold uh, to be uh, thinking about putting corn or soybeans in the ground. Uh, but it's plenty good for uh, canola and plenty good for wheat and uh, grass. So, uh, wow, listen to that engine. That thing is, that thing just roars. So, uh, I said, these uh, potatoes just seem to just shoot up overnight. Uh, there must be some pretty rich soil in here. Got a couple barren spots. I'm not really sure what was going in, on there. It's like our planer wouldn't, uh, wouldn't work. I don't know if it was the tractor we had hooked up to or, or what. But uh, it looks like we've got enough. Uh, we're probably going to have enough yield off of this field anyway. We don't need to worry about those uh, few bare spots. So while we're doing this fertilizing, I just wanted to mention that uh, I mentioned it in a couple videos already, but you never know when someone might uh, come across the video uh, for the very first time. So I'm just going to repeat myself. Uh, over at the FSUK forum, uh, the uh, Mapper's Paradise crew 
uh, which is the crew that brought us the um, Bally Moon uh, map in the mod contest. Uh, they are working on a cancer charity map and it will be posted in the mod hub. It is to be available for all platforms as I understand and the uh, all of the proceeds from the downloads uh, from the mod hub will go towards cancer research. Uh, they've already named four uh, charity organizations uh, that they will uh, send the money to and uh, that's right if you didn't know that uh, the Giants Mod Hub will pay uh, modders that have submitted mods to the Mod Hub for their downloads uh, based on the uh, review rating of the mod. Uh, the higher the review rating, meaning uh, four stars, three stars, two, etc. So if you have uh, a four star or higher average, you get paid the, the most. If you have uh, between three and four stars you get paid a different base amount per download and uh, what they're going to do is they've already announced uh, that they're willing to uh, they're willing to pay or not or not pay but uh, have all proceeds donated to uh, cancer research and uh, cancer care organizations uh, which I think is just absolutely spectacular Go ahead and uh, get to spreading here. I would do it in cab, but I really don't want to um, miss a whole bunch of spots. So once we once we do a headland here, we will uh, get in cab and we'll just use GPS to finish it off. Uh, I don't know when that map will be released or anything. I uh, put a post. Uh, well, there's a post over at FSUK that has a. Uh, couple screenshots and some more information about the map uh, I repeated I posted the same post over at uh, PCSG as well as over at the three dudes gaming network so there are links to both of those sites in uh, in my description so I encourage you to go check out those posts get some more information uh, they are uh, they have solicited and have received donations from many modders uh, for custom models, building models, uh, various other things. Uh, Dural, who is, I think I'm pronouncing that right, who is the uh, modder behind the more realistic mod, has said that uh, he will uh, basically incorporate more realistic or, or do something with respect to his more realistic settings uh, with the map as an option. They've also called out for uh, YouTube folks, anyone interested in having early access to the map in order to, uh, to stream it and profile it and basically get some publicity out uh, to let them know. And I have put my name in the ring for that because uh, I very much believe in this product or this project and uh, its cause. And I think that uh, there aren't too many people in the world anymore that can say that they have not been affected in some way or the other uh, by cancer so I think this uh, this is something this is a cause that a lot of people can get behind a lot of people can support and I want to be uh, I want to be my part of it do my part so as I said there's they've already posted some photos over at the uh, FSUK forum thread uh, of some custom models that they're going to be incorporating into the map uh, that were donated or that were uh, made for the map uh, for this charity product or charity project sorry uh, one of those models is is some type of uh, memorial sculpture I don't really know the full story behind the sculpture um, there's some more information posted over at the FSUK uh, thread so I encourage you to uh, to go check that out, but it really, I'm really excited about this project and excited to see uh, this map and and be a part of this in in my little way possible. So I just wanted to bring that up and uh, get the word out. Uh, it will hit the mod hub at some point. Uh, who knows? Uh, I don't really know even how far it is into development. It might still be. Uh, hopefully, it's not six months out, but it might be some number of months away still before it's uh, 
it's ready for release on the mod hub uh, but when it is released I will be profiling it uh, I've been told that my name is in the ring for early access so I should be able to get that early access to uh, to bring it into the channel and uh, talk about the map and show the map off and basically and hopefully uh, give the map its its fair due uh, that it deserves and the cause uh, and that deserves very much uh, very much attention. So similar to what we did when we seeded, uh, we're going to uh, do this. We got 24 work with. We're going to lock this thing in and head on down the road. And we'll do a little in cab driving. So this uh, this spreader is just ginormous, and it looks insane on. Uh, go ahead and open the rack door. It looks insane on the um, on little tractors. It just does not look very good as far as uh, proportions go. Oh, look! I didn't know that this. Uh, let's take a look. Does this seat jump up and down? Look at that! The seat's moving up and down. I didn't even realize that. So it just is huge, and it just does not work very well on smaller tractors, uh, as far as proportion it goes, proportionally looking. You know, you've got this little tractor, and you've got this giant thing slinging off the back of it. So it almost calls for a uh, a big, a big beefy tractor like this to uh, to be uh, proportionate and you know not look really silly. Uh, plus, this tractor won't go to waste on this map. Uh, we have the hills on this map are such. Come on. Go, 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 go. There we go. The hills are such on this map that we're going to need this horsepower to do all kinds of things from, from mowing, baling, um, pulling the bale trailer. We did go ahead and get front uh, front hookups for uh, front loader or wheel loader. We've got uh, PTO front hookups, so we could use this to uh, to do our mowing. Uh, we could use this to do our seeding uh, if we need to seed. You know, when we go to seed the big canola field, we might use this instead of the John Deere uh, 8530. Uh, we could use this to plow with as opposed to the 8530 if we needed the 8530's power for something else. Uh, so this this tractor will not go underutilized. We're not, we didn't buy a giant tractor just to fertilize. Uh, we'll make plenty of good use of this thing. As I said, we're going to do a little in-cab drive-in. we got the seat bouncing around. Let's see what other kind of uh, I see. Oh, we got a uh, horse. What else we got? We got Pottinger. We got a Crone controller. It turns on inside light. What else we got going on? Uh, we could... Uh, Take out the hubs. Take a look at that. What do we think? We like this look. We think it looks silly. Well, I just think narrow wheels look silly to begin with. I mean, come on. There's only one tractor that's got narrow wheels that I like, and it's the uh, it's the Case 1455. I've got a mod 1455 that has narrow wheels that I like. Uh, they are not too narrow. They're just a little bit narrower than than the standard wheel. And uh, but all the other tractors with narrow wheels, the wheels are just yeah, they're narrow for sure. But they're like too narrow in my opinion. So I don't know. Do I like this with no uh, no wheel hubs, or do we want to put them back? Let's look. One with and one without.
guess we'll put it back in. Put it back on. Uh, what else do we got? We got anything else? Oh, we know we can open the door. We did that little trick already. Side windows don't open. Uh, does this door open? Oh, that door opens. Now we can't. There we go. Looks like now we can't close it. I do like how it all lights up. It's going to look really nice at night. All lit up like this. This is going to look really nice once we put uh, nice big old fat tires on here with wheel weights. Uh, it's going to look really nice. Just listen to that motor. It's like it's got a turbo in it. Does it say it's got a turbo? What does it say? Dyna 6. I don't know what that means. If that means it's got a turbo, but it just sounds... It just sounds mean. If you can hear that good or not, or if I need to turn it up a little bit. But, uh, it's a nice looking tractor. Lights are decent on it. They're not as bright as the, uh, the 6R, but they're still pretty decent. Our indicators work, although I don't typically use indicators. I just kind of always forget them. The Massey Ferguson is pretty simplistic as far as the gauges go. There's just, uh, I guess that's an RPM gauge in the middle. We've got, uh, I guess, a fuel gauge there somewhere. Uh, we've got our speedometer there and our uh, RPM digital readout, 1600. Seven o'clock. Uh -oh. There we go. Been hitting the wrong buttons today. I guess our cultivator is about done, which is good because it's, it's toward the evening hours. Uh, but uh, according to our seed usage. And it's a little off, I know. Uh, we could uh, check this out. Let's just do uh, field work and uh, calculator. Well, we'll look at that once we turn around here. Let's take a look at these field sizes here. So field seven is six. We're, we're looking for uh, 19. Oops. 19 is 9.64. 14 is eight. So 14 is a little smaller. 15 is 9.7. And what's uh, 31? Seven and 34 is eight. So nine is one of the largest fields, if not the largest field uh, that we own. 
So one, it's good that we tackled that one early. So all of the fields should basically take less time than this. Uh, so like I said, I'm not really concerned that it basically took me two days to plant or seed this field. It really took a day and a half and then we spent half a day here doing fertilizer after we bought our tractor and such. Um, you know, we've got uh, 13 days of uh, it'll be 12. Uh, tomorrow we'll be halfway through spring basically. So we've got uh, one big field down as far as seeding goes. We've got uh, two big fields cultivated. Be seeding tomorrow, so we may, uh, if we're lucky, we'll finish seeding that field with wheat tomorrow. So I think we're in a good position. We've got a nice, beautiful sunset going on here. Again, now that we've got green foliage on the map, this map has really come to life with its uh, with its beauty. I've said before, this is I'm really liking this map. There's not a square field up here other than 12 is kind of squarish. we're going to be able to finish this field off with the uh, fertilizer that we've got or if we're going to have to go back and get a little more. I think we're going to finish it off just well. We don't have to worry about it. Our fertilizer usage isn't ticking down too terrible much. Alright, this is going to call it here. We're going to uh, fill the fertilizer spreader back up and uh, park it over here. Let's turn that off. Listen to that motor. Let me crank this in up a little bit. Get out. It just sounds nice. So I don't remember where I got this mod from. I'm here oogling over it and I can't really tell you even where I got it from. Um, it came from probably Mod Hoster or the in-game Mod Hub. I don't remember which. But uh, it's the, let me show you here in the store, it's the 7700 Massey Ferguson More Realistic uh, Edition. It's got front loader attacher options. It comes with the uh, 210, 225, 240, 260, or the 280 version that we've got. Uh, standard wheel weights, wide tires, narrow tires, broad wheels with weights, twin wheels. So that's it. Oh. Let's go ahead and fill this up. Get ourselves some more fertilizer here. Okay. And 
if we do get into a pinch, we'll be able to use this uh, this tractor to uh, to seed our corn or our soybeans should we need to. So with that, guys, I want to bid you all a farewell. Uh, if you like this video, please go ahead and consider clicking the uh, like button there. Uh, if you have not yet subscribed and you want to see more of my uh, wonderful content, uh, hey, you might as well boast, right? Uh, then go ahead and click the subscribe button. I put out map videos every Tuesdays and Thursdays. And uh, we'll be trying to put out Churn Valley Let's Play 24 Day Seasons um, every uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So three days a week. Uh, where's our... Here he is coming around. I think he's about done. Which will be... Uh, which will be cool. I'll just uh, sit here and uh, watch him as we close out. And as I said during the uh, the charity uh, cancer discussion, uh, please consider checking out PCSG and the Three Dudes Gaming Network. Uh, they're both adult and mature uh, forums for gamers. Uh, they're here to help and are willing to help and happy to help. Uh, they're not going to be asking you to go figure out your own problems. They're not definitely not going to be putting you down or anything like that. Um, so it's it's often a relief to uh, to find a site like that. So if you've been hesitant to go look, I highly doubt you, or highly doubt you'll be disappointed uh, when you go check them out. So until next time, guys. Happy farming.